song was emotional for me because of how it ended last year. Um, and I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, and I and I was emotional at the beginning of the game because I didn't want what happened last year to happen this year. So I was handling things in real time, not not afterwards. I did want to see them in the <laughs> national championship this year because what happened last year, it was apology to my teammates, my coaches, and myself. And I just feel like, like I said, revenge. it was a revenge tour, and it's no better way to play them in the championship and beat them. When Dawn Staley shouted out Caitlin Clark and thanked her for all she's done for the women's game, first thing came to my mind was game recognized game. And yes. it takes one goat to no one. It takes a goat to no one. It takes one to no one. Um, listen, on this, uh, on this eclipse day, we got to start uh, with as bright a star as there is in the coaching profession and in women's basketball and sports period right now uh, in Dawn Staley. Uh, and much like the sun, she just continues mm. to give everybody in her orbit life. Can't say enough about this woman, Dawn Staley. I can listen to her speak all day long. Ooh. In fact, I missed church yesterday, but that's okay because Dawn took us all to church. <laughs> bedside <Damn>. Baptist <laughs> Dawn Staley. Bedside instead. Baptist. You want to talk about you want to talk about elevation? How about Dawn Staley? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I cannot say enough about this woman and what she is doing. That is, is it does her disservice to limit what she, her impact to women's basketball, man. Anybody that's listening to her, anybody that's that knows her story and follows her, and really like locks in and, and hears her message. Can't help but be touched. Can't help but be touched. Yeah, I and mean, inspired. It, it's the, it's not just Coach Staley, right? It's it's, it's Reverend Doctor Don yeah. Staley. I mean, really, she she was. I would, I would and, join her church. I would if she and, if, and if, look, if she did an altar if she had done an altar call and asked, "Is there one?" I would have joined her one? church immediately. Is there I would one? have I would have jo I would yeah. have joined her church. Uh, it's, every, every time every, she every speaks, head bowed, never fails. Yeah, I'm telling you, every head bowed, I'm every eye you. closed. Every eye closed. Don't look who's walking down the aisle. This is between you and, and the And Lord. listen, all, okay. all, 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 all levity and humor aside, I mean, like, you don't yeah. even have to, sorry, I'm, I'm going to let you go. You don't, you don't have to be a Christian. You don't have to be spiritual or religious to be inspired by what she has to say. Like, like I'm sure there yeah. are some people, some people who don't like their food touching, some people who don't like politics and sports or religion and sports intersecting. Some yeah. people, I, I guarantee you, were turned off. By, and have been turned off of by course. how often Dawn of professes or, and claims her, her faith and use her platform to openly praise God. And I'm not judging the people who are, but I'm saying that, like there, there is something universal, whether you just want to believe in the universe or not, or, or, or the universal about suffering the type of disappointment that she did and her team did and her program did last year. And then coming back the following year and doing it with this team the way mm. that they did it. There's something universal in every walk of life that you should be able to take from that because you know why you know we talk I come back to this theme all the time, bro. Like who you root for I root for stories. I root for stories right. because I like to find life lessons in my sports and, and what better teacher is, is there than Dawn Staley. Matter of fact, I hope she stays at the collegiate level stay in school forever because she's nothing but class all the time. Woo. You got it. Woo. Bars, 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 uh, bars, bars from you, bars from Staley. And you know what? Shout out before we get started uh, talking about Dawn Staley, because just the, the platform that she had, shout out to Holly Rowe. Shout out to Holly she Rowe. She was so for, clever. Did you embracing it? Oh, yeah, she turned that I thought you were going to say. I was like, yeah, Holly, I see you. I see you. I oh. thought she was gonna say when he closed the door, he opens the window because your team cleaned up on the glass. I'm like, that oh, I'm like, right Yo. there is why hey. she's Holly Rowe. <laughs> Holly yes. Rowe. I'm glad, I'm glad you picked up on that. Yeah. That's somebody yeah. who's been to church. That's somebody who's been to church, boy. Or like, okay. look, or again, or again, if you ain't been to church, 
You've been around Don Stanley long enough to have been converted. <laughs> if you cover Don right? Stanley long enough, you're gonna be like, who but is Holly this guy you speak of? But she had yeah, that. Good. She had that yeah. great line. But she also, yeah. she also, and I always say this, like, she gave uh, it a you know, space. Just, just, just gave it a space. Give me like a little. Just give me a little. Just give me a little. Give me like, give me thirty seconds to put the professor hat on. I always say, go for it. Take people, your time. It's an emotion. Now, when when somebody is laughing, when somebody is laughing, and you interview them. Hey, you you're enjoying the laughter. It's an emotion. They're laughing. It tells you about their mood it tells you that something they have a lightness about them. If somebody is crying, some interviewers get intimidated by the tears. They get tense around the tears and they want to move on and they don't let them just it's an emotion that's valid. Let that be part of the story too. And Holly Rowe did a great job say, hey, you're crying and she asked, okay, what is this? But it, that's tell all me you got to ask. Feeling. That's all that's you right. got to ask. What is this? Open in, open in. And she what, waited. What, what, why are you emotional? It, hold, that's she the thing. Waited. Okay, if you want to put, put the professor hat on and you want to teach journalism one on one for a second. Love it. The silence. Never fill the mm. silence. The Don't best be interviewers will let somebody sit there and think and will not, not, not jump in to try to like answer for them. That silence is very powerful. But like you said, that emotion was very powerful. The emotion Continue was preaching. there and but 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 Don Staley said so many great things uh, yesterday and it's not a surprise because if you really think back to to and I was thinking about this uh, earlier this morning. If I think about how, how many times Don Staley has been in the public conversation has been in the sports conversation. She's been around for a long time doing great things from so, so let's go yep. back to her college days where she was a great athlete. She was a great athlete. She used to get name checked by the roots of her Philly ties. She was on Martin uh, after she was in the Olympics along with Rebecca Lobo. So she's been a part of the culture for a long time. WNBA player and obviously a coach with impact. It's not her first rodeo rodeo. This is not her first right. national championship. So she has always had good and things to last. say, not just about right. right. And, and right, and that she's always had good things to say, not just about the game, but about the culture, not just about the right. culture, but about but about women society and yeah. wi women in sports, women in society. What she said yesterday about the broad uh, broadcast crew and how she's it was intentional treasure. and she's it's powerful. I mean, really yeah. on there, but to take it back to inspiration. No, but she said now she Look, a lot of people say this, but I'm glad she did because she's been around a lot of people from a, a lot of different faith traditions. She said the God I serve. It may not be the mm -hmm. God you serve. You may not serve a God at all, yeah. but the yeah. God I serve will break your heart, will break your heart sometimes before you get to that moment where you can celebrate mm -hmm. beyond beyond your expectation. Look, uh, the Apostle Paul says something like that. You like like generations ago, but Don Staley said it better. <laughs> she said it better yesterday and it's more relatable. I'm just so glad. I'm glad for her and I'm glad for the people she inspired because she inspired a lot I'm, of people I'm yesterday, laughing. whether they're South Carolina I'm, fans or not. I'm, I'm laughing because church folk always say the apostle Paul. It ain't just like Paul. Right. Like the Apostle Paul. Ain't that like Paul? Like, <laughs> you know Paul. You know Paul from around the corner. The Apostle Paul says, um, you know, I you know tell, Paul, the no. one who used to be Saul. You know him. She had another. She had another remark I saw online, where she talked about you know praising God for the defeats as well as the victories, and um, you know I. I said this to I told you a couple of episodes ago. We talked about, you know, my daughter's collegiate process or application uh, and selection process and whatnot. Um, and I'm sure you've heard this phrase that, that God answers prayers in, in three ways. You know, yes, not yet or no, because I got something better. And like, mm -hmm. you know, the weeping that Dawn endured for many nights between last year's loss to Iowa and this year. Like, who knows how dark those nights were for her? But like, mm. the, like, so the joy that she was feeling yesterday, it was palpable from the TV screen. And I, I mean, how could she have ever imagined? Because it's certainly, <laughs> it's got to be unprecedented. 
I mean, may, maybe not. I mean, but you know, I'm, I'm not enough of an encyclopedia to know. But to lose all five starters to the WNBA draft, and then to come back, and your leading scorer by the time it was all said and done, is a freshman. I, yeah. It, what you you can't write that story. You can't. And to be you undefeated. Can't write that story. You you and right. to be undefeated. And to be and 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 to be the tenth oh. undefeated national champion in women's college basketball history. And you talked about how she's always been a part of the culture. Now she's part of the pantheon, having won three titles. And again, more to come. But like the whole scene to have Aaliyah Boston, who, by the way, has got some serious potential in this here yeah, business. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like, yes, okay, indeed. Like, like, you know, take, take she your was time. great. She to was great Aaliyah Bo- yesterday. Aaliyah Boston was a mess after the game. Knowing what the like when she came down for the celebration, she was a mess. It's like it was hard not to 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 be again. Like we don't we don't have skin in this game where we're rooting for a certain jersey or a certain outcome. I mean, like I I, I don't bet. You know what I mean? Like I, I just this was about rooting well, for good people. Bad. Good things happen. That's too right? bad. That's too bad. Good for things you. happen. You don't good know people, what you're missing. You know. You don't know what and you're then missing. watching those good people. Whether it's you know Dawn Staley or you know a couple of days ago Paige Beckers, watching those good people use that platform to, to inspire and not only inspire but to give flowers. Like again, going back to like she didn't have to say what she said the way she said it when she said it about Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. She didn't have to do that. You know, yeah, but that's but who she. she saw it as that's a, what I'm saying. That's who she but is. That's who she is. She saw that's it as she an is. opportunity. And Yes. If you listen to her and, and, and she saw this opportunity to, to frame the conversation, because I'm sure she hears some of the negativity around Caitlin Clark, but yet, hey, let me go ahead and lead on this as well. Let me lead on this and, and show you how it's done. We've juxtaposed her. I mean, it was it wasn't that long ago we've juxtaposed her response to the you know, the, the tussle, whatever you Kim, want to call it with LSU. Yeah, Kim with, with Mulkey. Kim Mulkey's. Yeah. It's like she's always like, like she's not only is she is she all class all the time. She's always teaching with her words and with her actions. She's teaching people. She don't even coach. Damn it. I wish I could play for her. Sorry. You, you, I, yeah. you, you about to say something. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. It's like when, when you listen to her talk, when you listen to Don Staley talk, you don't hear somebody who is reciting uh, something that has been out there uh, in the air, you know, all the talking points doesn't sound like just your typical coach or your typical leader who has read some manual on how to inspire young people, how to get people to listen to you, oh, how God. to hold, She's how to pure hold a crowd. Authenticity. Pure she authenticity. is just telling you based on her experience, based on her confidence, based on her position in the college game. Because let me tell you, South Carolina, I don't know. Talking to you, provost, talking to you, president, whatever they call it down there. I don't know what her status is. Uh, Whatever her contract (laughs) is, you you, got to do it better. You got to do it better. You just got to, you know, you should make some amendments to that. I don't care if she just signed one uh, a year ago, two years ago. You got to do it better because it is so, she is such a great representative for the basketball program, for the athletic Mm. department, for the university as a whole, and for the region. For yeah, the Carolinas, the I'm telling you, she's that important yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to that to that part of the country and to that program. So uh, I just love can we, you're right. I, I can listen to her all day. I love listening to her. And I'm glad she said that about Caitlin Clark because she yeah. understands. She understands some of the conversations and she understands yeah. that you mentioned the negativity. I mean, neg- negativity will always exist around greatness, Absolutely. even if it's three even if it's 3% of the population or 5%, there's always going to hey, be somebody. And sometimes, hey, since, since, like, hey, sometimes since we, the dumbest, since we in church, since we in church, yeah. Jesus walked on water and they said he couldn't swim. You know, I right. mean, it right. don't matter how many three pointers you make, you know, right? Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. Now, don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on peacock and on Sirius XM channel 85.